Welcome back to Cool Club's Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at Callaway's new Pro Series line. This is the MB, the blade. Right, this is the obviously the least forgiving one, the asphalt blade. Most of the tour players are play in the short clubs. Yep. Um, some of them play them you know, further up. But uh, what's really cool about this whole set is that, you know, they all match nicely. They all look the same. Um, they're relatively close as far as distances and stuff, so they all blend pretty well. Yeah. Uh, the blade's got a couple of little features. It's really hard to see. You won't even see it on the camera almost. You've got to get it in your hand. Right. You're like looking at the bottom edge, and you know the sole's pretty pretty flat and slim. And as you tilt it, you can see that there's a real big like they've blunted the leading edge itself. Off yes. There. Yeah. Basically, um, it's it's kind of like what you see on the Shrixons and stuff. It's just blended really nicely. Yeah. And a much smaller um, version of yeah, it. Yeah. It's obviously not as wide a sole to begin with. Um, but yeah, you can see that. It definitely got a little camber in the front there. Yep. Um, probably the first uh, two thirds or one third of it. Yep. Um, but that seems to have worked for, you know, obviously worked with Strixon. They came out of nowhere with that, and they actually accentuated by making it so visible. Yeah. Um, but that is a great way to make the French reaction better. And I think it just opens it up for a few more players. Someone who's a little steeper might get away with a few more shots. Right. And, and typically, surprisingly enough, you know, mostly tour players are actually steeper than the average decent low handicap. Yeah. Um, so they do hit down on it quite a bit sometimes. They just get away with it because they're moving the club so fast. Yeah, exactly. Breaks everything strong out. enough to put it through the ground and all that stuff, yeah. Yeah. Uh, great shape. I, I love it. Really, really soft edges. I, I mean, satiny kind of finish, not high polished chrome. I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. Um, and the weight, we did talk about this a little earlier. Yeah, I mean, this is fantastic to be able to change this weight. And it does two things, right? So it's also, not only does it adjust the swing weight, and obviously you can go up and down, and they're all the same ones, apparently. Um, so if you get a kit of these, you can mess with whatever swing weight you want. The other thing, too, is it's obviously a relatively soft material, so it does do some... Uh, shock absorption as well so there's some dampening effect of it as well so it's kind of a two uses for it yeah being able to swing weight and, and just get that whole set just fully consistent is oh that's that, huge i build, love that builder's yeah. dream why everybody doesn't do that that's some extent is beyond me i see it coming yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well let's take a look at the numbers um we run the 90 mile an hour test on on all of these heads and then we we also run the 80 mile an hour test on the pro because that's like the one that's going to cross over yeah it could cross over for sure um, so and this is right in the middle. It's hard to talk much about the the 90 mile an hour test, but now we have got a few of them. Head to our website to the reviews section. You'll be able to compare them online. As we do always see, this is a good grouping, right? Tight tight dispersion. Yep. Um, a little drop off when you get to the bottom, and all of these things kind of spin a, a bit more than most because they've got a lot of loft on them. So right. the, the thin uh, ones uh, probably plus just plus those numbers are spin launch numbers we're looking at too. We got to remember this is 90 miles an hour, so they're probably a good 30 percent higher yeah. than the same same club at 80 mile an hour. So and I gave us a little cheat sheet so we can see that the spin launch here at 324 is mid essentially. Right. Yep. Um, stopping power at 4.2 is is very very good, um, and tour performance as you'd hope. I think we peak out around 4.4. Seven or four point six on on a, a couple of the I think blades. Six is about as high as you possibly can get. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is right up there. Yep. And the yardage at this point, you're not looking for yardage. So. No, it's relatively long though for you know a relatively straight looking blade. Not a lot of technology. No no hot faces. Although a bit probably in the Pro Series. Um, but you know you're talking about one seventy five, and they're all like one seventy six, one seventy four, one seventy three. So they can all be blended, no problem. And that's the nice. case, right? We, we um, do, doesn't matter what. But they're not one. short. By any means, it's no. one of the longer blades out there. No, it doesn't yeah. matter what this one does necessarily. It just matters that if you're going to blend them, right, which is what they've done a really good job of, they yeah. all kind of flow together. Yeah, I could definitely see mixing almost all three sets of these. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Cool. Thanks, right. Mark. Yeah, thanks.